In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a login and sign up button before checkout in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and install and download the WooCommerce Request a Quote plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, head back over to your WordPress dashboard. Go ahead and install and activate the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this new WooSuite menu item. Let's go ahead and click on add-ons and let's install the Request a Quote plugin. Okay, so here it is. So we'd install it. So you'll see an install message like that. And then once it's installed, you'll just go ahead and toggle it on. And then let's go ahead and click manage. Okay, and then we'll just add a new rule. Okay, so we can name it, we can give it a name. It's just for internal purposes only. So I'm gonna name mine, um, add login and sign up before checkout, just so I know exactly what it is. And then where it says rule type, so this rule will be for our guest users, because once the users are logged in, we don't wanna show them, um, we don't wanna prevent them from checking out basically. And then for the rule priority, we'll just go ahead and select one. Okay, and here we can select which product we want it to apply to. So maybe we want this behavior to apply to all products or maybe just um, a specific products where you just enter it in here or maybe a specific category. To keep things simple, I'm gonna apply this rule to all products. Um, then we scroll down to where it says hide price. We'll select no, because we wanna still display the price. And then here where it says hide add to cart button. So this is where we'll um, change the add to cart button and instead show a custom button prompting users to sign up first before they can check out. So here we'll select replace add to cart button with a custom button. And then we'll basically just link to our sign up page. So for example, if I copy this URL and select my account. So this is the login page and sign up page on my particular site. So you'd basically just add the link to your login slash sign up page. So if we check this as well, in private browser, we can see this is our login page and sign up page. So let's go ahead and add it here where it says custom button link. And then for the custom button, we can say login to purchase or sign up to purchase. You can name it whatever you want. Um, then we just go ahead and click publish. Okay, and now when we visit the store page, since I'm already logged in, everything will function as normal. So here you can see we can add to cart and we can check out as normal. But when we go ahead and visit this page in incognito, we can see this button here, which is prompting users to log into purchase. So if I click on the product page as well, here the same thing, we can see the button prompting users to log in before they um, can purchase the item. So when we click it, it'll redirect us to our login slash sign up page. And then basically once the user's logged in, then they'll be able to check out as normal. So. As you can see, I'm already logged in, so I can go ahead and check out as normal. And that's how you add a login to purchase button within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.